hi everyone and welcome to this video in this video i'm going to talk about data quality services which is also known as dqs so the first thing is what is data quality services what is dqs data quality services is a feature that was introduced in sql server 2012 used for improving and maintaining the quality of your data across the enterprise or across your organization. Here are some of the DQS features. First one is the knowledge based. You can create a usable data quality knowledge base, which is also known as DQKB, which can be used to improve the integrity and quality of the data. Semantics data is mapped into data domains which you can create and can capture semantics knowledge discovery dqs can acquire additional knowledge from sample data and from user feedback open and extensible not only you can use your own knowledge base but you can use a third-party reference data providers which ensures the quality of your data by comparing it to the data guaranteed by a third-party company Integration with SSIS is possible for automated match mode execution. And last but not least, it's easy to use. Any an intuitive and compelling user experience designed for an increased productivity. I'm just going to show you an example of a serial a scenario over here. So this is a data that is before the data quality services that has happened. And as you can see, there are some issues on this data. And let me show you what happens when the data is processed through a data cleansing process via the data quality services. So this is what actually happens. If you notice that there is incomplete data with the red arrow highlighted over here with the red blank, and through the data quality services, it automatically completes the data. There is more accuracy on the data. As you can see, there's spelling mistakes over here under the street and under the city column, and it has been corrected. There is more of a formality in the data. So as you can see, the state, the way New York is written in two different languages in two, in two different words, it consists, it maintains the formality of it. And then last but not least, there is consistency of data. So you'll see over here, there is a consistency of data that is performed. SQL Server uh, DQS processors. So as you all know, DQS is a knowledge-based tool that allows us to create a knowledge based about a data then it uses the data in the knowledge base to improve the integrity and quality of the data. Here are some of the operations that a DQS performs or allows us to perform. First is the monitoring. It allows us to track and monitor the state of the data quality activities and the quality of data. This way, you can monitor DQS activity and its process. Profiling. It does the analysis of the data source to provide insight into the quality of the data, and it helps to identify data quality issues at every stage in knowledge discovery, domain management, matching, and data cleansing processes. Cleansing, it can be performed indirectly via the DQS client tool or in a batch mode via the use of an SSI component. It updates, amends, removes, or enriches data that is incorrect or incomplete. This includes correction, standardization, and enrichment. Cleansing is continued, and the data cleansing process classifies the data into different categories as follows. Number one is the correct, so terms or data values that were found correct. For instance, a matched domain value or return from the RDS is correct corrected temps or data values that were automatically correct by the dqs engine by using the knowledge base that it uses or the rds provider not corrected temps and data values that were not recognized by the system is correct or temps and values that violate a domain rule auto suggested temps and data values that 
the DQS engine has found as a correction for, but with medium or low confidence and it requires a user intervention to move ahead, which allows the user to either approve these auto suggestions or to reject these auto suggestions. And the last one is new. If there is a blank data, then the data, the temps or data values that the DKS engine has identified as a new value at the data source and also requires the approval or the rejection. And this is just how the data cleansing process works. So you have a data coming from an SQL Server maybe or from any other sources such as Excel. And then what happens is it goes through the data cleansing process where the data is looked for correctness, corrected suggestions, new and invalid. The next uh, DQS process is the matching. So matching is identifying or leaking, linking or matching related entries within or across a set of data. The goal of matching is to remove duplicates from the source. It can be intra-source matching a source against itself or inter-source matching a source against a lookup table. The matching process includes four steps. Matching policy training. To define and test the set of policy rules that govern the matching process, the matching policy rules helps identify the relevant duplicates. Matching to run matching project by matching the data at a source against itself or against a lookup table. Auto approve to define policy rules for auto approving matching result clusters based on the match results obtained. And match or survivorship. To define the policy rules for selecting one approved record from each cluster or match records. DQS, DQS components. Data quality services server. This is the main server or service that provides the overall feature of DQS and it is installed on top of your SQL database engine. So at the point of installing SQL Server, you will not be able to have this installed. You will have to install it on top of it. Data quality client. The DQS client is a tool, which is a user interface for the DQS administrator or KB editor and KB operator, which can be used for knowledge base management knowledge discovery, matching policies, definitions, exploring reference data, creating and maintaining data quality projects, as well as to monitor and administrator the DQS service. This tool can be deployed on the same machine as the DQS server service or client or on a separate client machine. Integration services component for data cleansing. This new component is a synchronous data flow transformation component which enables correcting the input data according to domain values or rules and reference data associated with a designated DQS knowledge base. This can be used when you want to perform data cleansing operation in batch, which is automated as part of the data integration or as part of SSI's data flow pipeline. Integration services component for data cleansing. This new component is a synchronous data flow transformation component, component which enables correcting the input data according to domain values, rules, and reference data associated with a designated DQS knowledge base. This is to be used when you want to perform data cleansing operation in batch, uh, which is automated or as part of data integration or as part of SSIS data flow pipeline. Now what you think, why would you use DQS? Data quality issues consist of inconsistency, incompleteness, invalidity, inaccuracy, duplicates, and many more issues. These data quality issues can rise from different sources like anonymous data entry, corruption in transmission or storage, data correlation issues, from different sources with different standards or formats, etc. These types can be led into incorrect data analysis, data mining, and reporting, which ultimately impacts the business as the decisions of the business is made based on these data sets. Therefore, 
The data quality service DQS greatly helps in ensuring the data quality by data profiling, matching, data cleansing, correcting data, and monitoring the overall status of these processes. Well, that is all guys for today. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If so, please do give a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.